Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making another scrap again. <laughs> scrap Afghan. <laughs> and we're going to start that in just a moment. <laughs> Here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making another scrap grant. Afghan. Scrap Afghan. I'm having a hard time calling it that. Okay, so I am using some scrap yarn. It's four ply worsted weight. Now this is kind of a hand spun yarn, but I'm going to pair it up with acrylic four ply worsted weight as well, which is a medium weight. Okay, so we're going to start by crossing our yarn, and we're going to do a chain of 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. By the way, I'm using a five millimeter hook and uh, yeah, okay. So what we're making is we're making a rectangle granny. Okay, so we did 13. Now I want you to chain three for a double crochet and then I want you to chain one for a space. So we did 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? Then we're going to yarn over, we're going one, two, three, four, five, we're going to the sixth chain from our hook and we're going to insert and do a double crochet. So this chain up three is a double crochet and then we did a chain one which is a space to give us this, okay? Now we did a double crochet, we're going to do another double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Okay, then we're gonna chain one, skip one on the bottom, go into the next chain. See what we have happening here? Okay, we're gonna do three double crochets in a row. Okay, then we're going to chain one, skip one on the bottom, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, and now in this last chain, we're going to put a double crochet. Okay, so this is what we've got. Okay, so now what we're going to do for our next row is so we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. Now in this space, we're going to turn our work. So this chain up three counts as a double crochet. We're going to put two more double crochets in this space. One, two, okay. Then we're chaining one and we're reaching for our next space and we're gonna do three double crochets in that space. And you can see how we're forming the granny now. So three double crochets in there, chain one, reach for your next space, three double crochets. Now we're coming to our end of the row so we'll do our corners there. So three double crochets in that space, chain one, and now we're at our final space. So we're gonna do three double crochets, one, two, and three. We're gonna chain two, one, two, that's our first corner, we're gonna do three double crochets, one, two, 
three, two chains, one, two, three double crochets, and this is all in that same space, that end space, two, three, chain one, and now we're starting down the other side. So we're going to do this to the other side. So one, two, three in this space, chain one, three in the next space, one, two, three, chain one. We're at that other end here. So we have already done the three double crochet from the one side. So we're going to do three double crochet into that end. One, two, three, chain two, one, two. Okay, so we've got a side and a side. So now we're doing the center. So one, two, and three, chain two, one, two, and now we're going to slip stitch into that third chain from hook, okay? And this is what we've got so far. This is our rectangle granny. So for me, I like color. So you're also gonna need scissors. So for me, I'm cutting it here. I'm gonna pull my tail through my loop. And now I'm gonna put a nice vibrant color. So just one sec, I'll go grab one. Okay, so I found this really pretty blue. So, I am going to take the blue, I'm going to go into a corner, pull my yarn through, I'm going to pull, okay, now catching my tails at the back, I'm going to chain up two, so three total, then I'm going to do double crochet and go over those tails at the back. I'm going to do two double crochet, chain one, and then I'm going along the side. We're doing three in the space, okay, chain one, three in the space. Chain one, three in the next space. Chain one, now we're getting to a corner, okay? So in this corner, we're gonna do three, two, three. We're gonna chain two one, two, three more in that corner, one, two, three, okay, reach for the other, oh, chain one, reach for the other corner, doing three, one, two, Three, chain two, one, two. One, two, three, chain one, and go to that next space. Now that's how we're gonna do it. Now I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these blocks. I'm just using up my scraps. 
So this is how I'm doing it. If you want to make it solid, go ahead and make it solid. I'm doing it that this is the center and then I do a, a pop of color on the outside. And I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and then we're going to do a final round and we'll attach as we go. But make a whole bunch of these first and then meet me back. So when I say a whole bunch, I don't know. I'll make a whole bunch and then we'll meet back and we'll see how it looks and how it goes together. Okay. So this is what I've got right now. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I've made quite a few of these. I did enough for a row. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a larger ball of scrap yarn because these were just small scraps. Well, except for this center part, it's just a yarn I don't care for. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around one of these one more time, okay? So to attach, we're gonna pull our yarn through in a corner, chain three, and do our three in the corner. Chain one, go into that next space, anyway, go around one more time with the, the larger ball of color and meet me back, okay? One more round just on one of these, don't do the other one yet. Okay, meet me back. Okay, so we have this one done. I'm in my corner, cut my yarn, pull through. Now, I'm gonna do this one, starting in a corner. Now I'm gonna do, just like the other one, I'm gonna do the long and the one side, and then when you're starting, on this side, meet me back and we're gonna attach them, okay? So do the long side, the short side, and then come meet me back once you're in the corner. Starting in the corner now, see? So I'm doing my three, two, three. So, for my chain two, I'm gonna start attaching this, and this is called attaching as you go. So I'm gonna do a slip stitch through that corner of the other one, okay? Chain one, I'm gonna do, okay, so this is where we get tricky. I'm still in my corner, yarn through, go through two loops. Now I'm catching that first stitch on that one, and I'm going through my last two loops. Okay, let's do that again. So I'm going into the corner, go through two loops. I'm taking this one, I'm going into the stitch. Can you see it? See that stitch? I'm pulling through the stitch and then through my two loops. That's attaching it. So one more in the corner for three. So chain one, sorry, not chain one, through two, going into that last stitch before our chain one pull through that stitch and go through our two loops, okay? So now our chain one, we're just gonna chain a slip stitch into the chain from the other one. Now we're gonna start our three in the space. So we go there two into this one and go through those two loops. Pull through, through two loops, into the stitch on that one pull through, through two loops, into the space, pull through, through two loops, and into that final stitch, see it, that final stitch before your space, we're going into that, pull through, go through your two loops, slip stitch into the chain space, and now we're starting. That counts as our chain one, okay? Now I want you to do this for this whole long side until you get to the corner and then meet me back, okay? Starting that corner, so I go into the corner, pull through, go through two loops. I'm picking up that first stitch, 
of the three square there, through there, into the space, pull through, through two loops, go for the next stitch, right there, pull through, two loops, into the space, pull through two loops, and this will be your final stitch before this space. Go through, okay. Slip stitch into the corner counts as chain one, and to do a chain two, we're just chaining two. And now we're going down the other side just like normal. So we're not catching anything this time. Okay, so we're doing three in the corner. Chain one into the next space. One. Two, three, chain one, and then we're finishing off this round. So into that last, into the first corner we started with, actually, doing our three, chain in our two, one, two, slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three. To start the round okay big loop cut pull your tail through your loop now let me show you what we've got we now have our two joined okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this I'm gonna do five in a row okay and then our next round will be black and we're going to attach one lengthways and then one like this and then one like this and then one like this and we're going to do that for the five so i'll come back and do that after i've got them ready okay so i'm back and i've done my squares okay so this is going to do one row okay so here's what we're going to do now. We are going to, and if you were a smart person, which I'm not, <laughs> you would hide your threads in the back first, but I'm not doing that. So I'm going to go into a corner and my final color is going to be black. I hope you can see. So I'm going to go around this whole block, okay? So I chain up three, I do my three in the corner, I tuck this tail at the back, I chain one, I go to the next space, you know, like we've been doing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. We're just going to go all around this like normal, okay, but here's what I want to tell you. When you get here, so you see we have the two spaces, so we'd have corner space, 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 and then this would be a one space if it weren't for the fact we put it together. So what you want to do is you want to put two in one hole, one in the other, okay? And it doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you're consistent, okay? So if you decide to put two in the first and one in the second, that will be your cluster of three, then you would chain your one and go to the, your next space, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So you're coming around doing normal, three in a space, three in a space. This would count as these two little spaces on each side would count as one space. So you put two in one and one in the other, or one in this one, two in the other. Main thing is that you get your three, okay? And then chain one and go to your next, okay? So go around this one, meet me back, and then we will do the next one and we're going to attach it the way we attach the others. But instead of going it going up and down like we did with this one, this one we're going to do sideways. Okay, so go around this one and then fasten off, go up one side, down the other 
until you get to this side where it will be like this, right? So you'll have this one and then you'll want to attach this side. So you'll come to this side. Um, and I'll meet you back for that side. Then we'll attach that side. Okay. 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 So I'm at the part where we have the two spaces. So I've done my three block here, my three block. I'm going to chain one. And now in that first space, I'm going to do two double crochets and in that second space I'm doing one. Okay, then I'm going to chain one and I go to my next space. One, two, three. So see what we got? I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, the other option, maybe let's try this. We'll do all three in one side. Chain one, skip that one, and then go into here. What do you think? Then it's not split up, but it looks like you missed a spot. I don't know. You have to decide what you decide to do, whichever you think looks best. So keep going around and uh, meet me back and we'll do the attaching. Okay. So just like our other time, so see, we've got, we're going to put these ones vertical and these ones horizontal. Here, okay, so I've got to this corner, and just like when we did last corner, you're gonna slip stitch into this space, you're gonna chain one, you're gonna do your, and you're gonna go into that first stitch on the one you're joining to, and then pull through your two loops. So back in the corner, pull up through two loops catch the stitch from the other one, pull through, go through two loops. And this is your third stitch in here. Go through two loops, catch that last one on the other, just before the space here. Pull through, go through two loops, slip stitch into that space. Now going into the next space, we start our next three catch there just like we did before okay and whatever you did decided to go with in the joining loops like over here is what you're going to continue on so if you did all three in one or two in one one in the other you continue that the same way okay so we're going to attach this one on the one side only okay and we're going to do that and then we'll finish this square all the way around. And you're going to do that for five, um, five of these five blocks. I seem to have crocheted a hair into it. There we go. So you're going to do this for five blocks in this row and then we'll meet back to show you how to do two sides to attach. Okay. So five blocks to this row. So here we've got to the, the center here. So I decided to go all three in one side. So I'm just going to do my three in this side, catching that one, two, catching the next one. And Catching that final one before the space, slip stitch into the space. Now I'm not going to this one, I'm going to this one, okay? And just continue on. So five in this row, alternating, 
vertical, horizontal, okay? Then meet me back. I just wanted to show you how far we are so far. So this is the width of my blanket. I did five squares and now I've started my second row. So I'm gonna show you now how to um, attach on two sides. Okay, so I've got my one side done on this block up to the first three stitches in that corner. And I'm gonna show you how to do the rest of it and attach it on two sides in here. And then that'll basically tell you how to make the whole blanket. You just have to repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we're at my work table. I'm gonna show you how to attach this. So I've done the first three stitches in that corner, see? Okay, so now this is, I'm gonna start on this side. Okay, so starting on this side, remove all these spare threads out of your way. Okay, so there's my corner. I'm going to attach with a slip stitch that counts as a chain. And then I'm gonna chain one. Now I'm gonna do a double crochet in the corner of this one. Okay, until I get to two loops. Then I'm going on the back here and you see right here, now this is black yarn so it's hard to see but I'm pulling through, okay? So into the corner of the first block that we're attaching, go through two loops. You have two loops on your hook, one, two. You're going into the back that you're connecting to. You go in the stitch, pull through, go through those two loops, and then do your third one into that corner. Go through two loops, reach to the back. Now this will be the last stitch before the space in that back section, okay? Go in there, pull through, go through your two loops. Slip stitch into the space, that counts as that chain one. Okay, now we're reaching for our next space over here. So we go in there and we start our double crochet and now we're going into the first stitch past the space on the back. Okay, in the front, we wanna get three in here. And this is just like we were doing before. So we go through two loops, reach for the back one pull through, go through those two loops, slip stitch into the center, and then we come in here, and we are going into that first stitch, into the space, into that second stitch, into the space, into that, slip stitch into the space. Okay, so now we're coming to where we did our join, right? So what I have done for the previous ones is I've done all three stitches in that first space. So one, two, And three, that brings us to our space. Do your slip stitch into that space. But now here where we, cause see we had two spaces side by side, that space and this space, we're just skipping this one. We're not even paying any attention to it. We're gonna reach for the next one and into the stitch. and into the stitch. And we're just gonna do this all the way across, just like we've done before. 
but then to the corner, it's going to be a little bit different, not much. And I, you probably can already guess what we're going to do in that corner. But just in case you're not 100% sure, that's why I'm here to show you. And if you don't want such a messy work area, you would hide those threads. I'm bad for that. Okay, so we're in the corner of the one in the front, okay? So, yarn over. We're going to do our three. So, catching those back stitches, right? One. Two. And three. Okay. Now, slip stitch into the space. Okay, that counts as one of your chain ones. Now, we're slip stitching into the other space for the the block that we're going on sideways. So we slip stitched into this corner space right here, okay? On this block now. So we're finished with this block that we just attached to. Now we're going on this one. So into that corner again. Okay. And then reaching for that first stitch to pull through the final two loops. And it's gonna be a bit cockeyed, but you just manipulate it to the way you want. And it's just for the corner. Whoops, sorry. Okay. And then that stitch right before the space, pull through, and then you're doing a slip stitch into the space. And then you just keep going. So reach for the next space and go into that stitch. Next space or same space because <laughs> we want to put three in there. Next stitch was what I meant. Okay, and we're going to do this all the way across this one. Okay, and then slip in that space and reach for the next. Okay, so you're gonna do this all the way to the other side and then you'll finish this side and then that's how you attach to two sides. So see, this is what we're looking like there now in the corner. See, not bad at all. So you're going to do this for the whole thing. I'm doing mine five by seven. So five squares by seven squares long. And then I'm going to put a border. Um, I have no clue what I'm going to do for a border. And I'm not going to keep this video until I do the border because everyone likes different borders. So at this point, I'm going to call this video done. So I hope you liked it. Hit the like and subscribe. And come in every Thursday. I try and put up a new video on Thursdays. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So I hope you like this. I will take a picture of what I've got done after I'm done this row. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.